Hi guys, I'm here with something a little different today. So I have a big box of Simple Stories goodies because I haven't announced this yet on YouTube, but I made the Simple Stories 2018 creative team. <laughs> I was just like blown away and so honored that I made the team. And um, I wanted to show you guys the box of goodies that I got. Now, I'm of two minds on the haul videos. One, they create FOMO, which, you know, is not a good thing in either creating it for someone else or having it because I've watched a haul video. But I do think that it is nice to see product up close and personal rather than just have to rely on those small little photos that the manufacturers put out and that are on the online websites. Unless you get to see the stuff in person at a local scrapbook store, which unfortunately for me, I haven't had one around in about 10 years. So I wasn't sure if I should do this, but I, I was told that unboxing videos are okay. So I wanted to show you guys the collections that I will be working with for several months for the Simple Stories team. And uh, keep, they were very, very generous. We got to choose, we get to choose which lines we wanna work with and which products. And, you know, it can go a little crazy, but I hopefully I'll be using quite a bit of this and have a lot of variety to choose from. So, um, I'm just going to take them out of the box so you can just see real quick and then I'll organize them in collections and then maybe open some packages up, show you the fronts and backs of, of papers and that sort of thing. So um, most of what I picked out from the list was uh, collection packs, paper, stickers, ephemera. I did pick a couple of washi tape and one roller stamp. And then... Um, I believe all but one of the collections that I chose have ephemera packs called Bits and Pieces for Simple Stories. And then we have uh, several kinds of stickers. There's some for each, uh, but all but one collection. Here's another ephemera pack. A couple of the collections have these 6x8 pads. Now, I feel that six by eight pads were a thing maybe 10 years ago or so, <laughs> and um, they seem to be making a comeback. And I'm excited to see what's in here because I know that they're different from the paper packs. I believe I only chose one or two of the, the small sticker ones that have the really itty bitty text stickers, word strips. I love those so much. We've got Oh, here's another one. This one has some clear ones. Well, I'll be showing you more at, when I organize them. Chipboard. So we got um, things. I, I picked the collection packs for most of it and then a few extra pages to have the back sides here or there. So chipboard. So here's a collection pack. And this one I was given two because I basically wanted both sides of almost all the papers. So I'm sure it was more economical to just pack up two kits. Two, uh, yeah, they're called collection kits, I think. Uh, chipboard. Here's some loose papers. Uh, collection kit. See, they are called. And this is the one I one of the five that just comes as a mini kit. Nothing else. Oh, and then this one is uh, a kit, the collection line that I probably chose the most of, as you can see here. <laughs> and that one's travel. So this is all the travel notes stuff. And I'll just go ahead and show you that right now. Comes with these really colorful washi with the, the little cameras. I, I've never met a travel line I didn't like, but I think this is one of the more colorful ones I've ever encountered and it's so sweet. I love it. Uh, the chipboard pieces. It has, I don't want to say it's a neutral palette because it's very colorful, somewhat, somewhat like um, primary colors and yet 
not quite as bright as is like not glaringly what bright I'll say that one for last to take that out these little stickers clear ones and they're all clear but black and whites and colorful and then this one is the regular sticker sheets with the little those little word strips here I'm gonna go ahead and just open them up and show you because that's the whole point I want I like the reason why I like to watch haul videos is to see the product a little bit better. Let's see if I can do this relatively quickly. I'm not known to be succinct, but <laughs> I'm going to try. So here are the types of sentiments that are on this clear sticker sheet. And then there's two clear sticker sheets in this pack and some little icons as well, both open and filled in. And then there was the colored ones right here. I love these little, uh, they look like watercolored blobs with the icons on top. I think that's my favorite thing on this. That was the Travel Notes Clear Stickers. And then we have another sticker pack. These are the Travel Note stickers, not clear. And we have here uh, lots of, I think they, they seem like the small, you know, it's kind of smaller than the chipboard, so it's a nice size. This is always one of my favorite things from Simple Stories the little word strips and this one's definitely travel themed it's so cute I love it when they add little hearts and that that one's probably my favorite travel does the heart good it's so cute and then these are really cool because they are also word strips but a little bit bigger and lots of colorful little drawings on them these little two they're not quite two by two and they're not quite square little rectangles could fit really nicely, maybe with pocket pages. And oh my gosh, look at these little tiny coffee cups. That's oh, I'm always drawn to those, right? And these geotags. These are awesome too. And then these could make great for the little dates. And look at the little circles too. So that is why I went with not just the bigger stickers, but the smaller packs because they tend to have lots of little bit, I call them bits. <laughs> um, and uh, I like to add those in my layouts. Some words might make good titles and more of the little squares or small rectangles. So this is the Travel Notes stickers. And it says four by six sheets, so I'm not sure how that it's different from the, okay, those were clear stickers, so. And now, I guess I can just stack them up here. I, okay, I did pick, I don't usually use the snap cards, but I did pick up because I was really attracted when I saw the photo to a couple of these cards. So let me open that up. So you can see them a little bit better. They come in four by six, and they come in three by four, and two by two. And if you're a Simple Stories fan like I am, you know that they usually produce these little packs, snap packs, for a lot of their collections. So I'll try to go through them fairly quickly. Journey, circles, haven't been anywhere, but it's on my list. Little uh, postage stamps. I loved this one. Cameras, this is great, and I, I kind of want to use that as a title or something. Little map, take me away. This one's opposite orientation. Polka dots, you had me at vacation, yep. More of those cute little cameras. Always take a scenic route. 
words. And I think that, I don't know if that's on the big paper pad too. We're going places, the little compass, adventure. I love this one. Maybe this would make a good title. And arrows. I'm going to have a time putting everything back together again. <laughs> Let's look at the three by fours. So I, um, I'm still in shock that I made the Simple Source team. Simple Stories is, you know, a big name in the industry, and I have admired their products forever. In fact, I hoard their products and I hardly ever scrap with their products actually because it's so pretty. I don't want to cut into it, but you know, the past couple of years I have been trying to get out of that mentality of hoarding. Okay, this one's really cute snapshots. Just go. Road trip. Oh, I love this one. Relax. Oh, that Two, two good sides. Oh my God, I'm gonna have a tar hard time deciding on that one. And these will be great, see the world. If I do scrap, which I often do with travel, uh, I'll do like a full size 12 by 12 and a pocket page. But as I was mentioning before I opened this up, uh, that I made the team and I am in the 12 by 12 layout category. So that's what I will be producing for Simple Stories and for y'all to get some inspiration, I hope. This one's cute. Life is short and the world is wide. Maps and travel notes. Nice grid. Ooh, I like that. Read the report. This one's cool and I believe that one comes in the big pack. Let's be epic. Oh, that's great. Cameras. Oh, I like this stripe and I, I don't know if that one's in the big pack. Should have opened the big pack of papers first. Off the grid and this one, love this one. All right, let's go quicker. These are cute, two by two, escape, little heart. Pack your bags, passport, oh cute, be a traveler, I could see even if you didn't want to use these as two by two, maybe punching circles out of them, not all, this, not all that wonder are lost, more of those arrows, scenic route, so some of the patterns in the papers are repeated in the small ones. And I really love that look of the watercolor. Oh, there's it small too. We got camera and luggage. So one of the things I love about, don't forget to play, Simple Stories is they have bright colors, but they are slightly muted. Let's just go. And that one. They're slightly muted and um, I feel like they're easy on the eyes. It's, it's, I, I'm attracted to color, but it's a color that's easy on the eyes. It's not glaring. And because it's a very, some of their collections are off-white based and some are white background based. Uh, I don't have a problem co combining. And it's not an off-white that's so yellow that it looks weird when you do have some white in there. This is cute. Camera, are we there yet? Get lost and find yourself. And I love traveling and I love scrapping travel. Passport. If you've been watching any of my channel last month, I did travel a kit for uh, one of my other design teams and scrap travel. Enjoy the journey. Today I... Destination, eat, sleep, travel, repeat. So here is the six by eight pad. And I'll just show you. It is, some of these look like bigger versions of those little ones in the packs, but um, these would go well if you like to scrap in a six by eight album. Ooh, I like that. 
and they do repeat some of the designs, but you can see that the scale is down smaller. And this is great because you could do mat much better than a six by six. Usually when I try to mat with six by six papers, at some point I have to like cut and splice things together. And then there's these big sentiments. So like if you do six by eight pages, those are great. Oh, I like this. Yep, and like I said, it's just a smaller version. It's almost like medium size between this and those little snap packs. Although, you know, if you don't get the snap packs, you, you get that smaller scale. And I'm basically ripping it all out, aren't I? And then they repeat, so you get double of everything. That's just great, because it's so hard to choose one side over the other sometimes. Now for the papers, and this is the cardstock stickers. Oh, these are great. I love the feel of these. They are a bit, they're almost like a satin finish, right? If you've never had the Simple Story stickers. And um, look at those cute little tabs and those watercolor marks. Really my favorite thing right now. And then papers. So this one's quite off-white with the circles. And then the other side are cut apart four by six and they're upright. This one's called Vertical Elements. Again, this is the Travel Notes collection. This one, I have them upside down. Love the polka dot, and here are, uh, this one's called 4x6 Horizontal Elements. This is cool, looks very old fashioned. I think I have them backwards and upside down. Aha, found the right way. Ooh, this makes a nice background with just that big graphic. This one's called Get Lost. I really love this. Photo op. Love that too. Oh, never met a ledger paper I didn't like. Travelogue is this one. That one's bold. This one's interesting. Reminds me of the Settlers of Catan type of artwork. It is called Off the Grid. Polka dots. Go see do. One of my favorite travel sayings. Oh, nice big map. Arrows called Enjoy the Journey. Ooh, lots of words. Neat map. I love how the words are in, in the areas. This one's called See the World. And there's a stripe. Adventure Awaits. Nice text background. And this is cool. It looks like... Uh, it reminds me of bricks with moss on them. And then the three by four elements. With these strips. That's really nice colors too in this collection. I love the addition of the aqua. But I just... I love all these colors together. It's really nice. And 4x4 four is called 4x4 four four Elements. And this is really neat. This is the reason why I have two packs because I loved lots of both sides of those papers. So that was the Travel Notes collection. So I am going to move on to the Crafty Girl collection. Let's find all the Crafty Girl stuff. This one's Crafty Girl. Then for this, I chose only a few papers to double sides to get the other side. 
And we were just given a list of all the quarter one releases and told to pick, oh my gosh, I forgot. Hold on. Travel notes, washi, which I, I mean, you can see. It's just, but I forgot the ephemera pack. I'm just gonna lay them out very quickly. Look at that little cutout. We've got all sorts of goodies in this. There's a lot in this travel pack, in this ephemera pack. So Simple Stories calls their ephemera packs bits and pieces, which is funny because I call it bits, just ephemera in general. Okay, this one's just like an off-white color. Here are the watercolor dot type thing. Oh, I like that. You know, in my last trip, I actually took a photo of a post with different directions like that. A little frame. I love those luggage, more luggage. Oh, and then there's some words, wander, journey. Oh, another post, more geotags. Oh, these great watercolor splots. Oh, nice date taken already for there for you. Explore, go see, do. And again, we've got just another size with all these little words. So I love how Simple Stories does that with the words in different sizes and the different stickers and packs. It's nice for the variety. Itinerary, wow, it's, it's like, it never ends. These ephemera packs are jam packed. Let's go somewhere, anywhere, everywhere. Where? We're going, we don't need roads. Oh, um, well, uh, I disagree on that one a little bit because I am not a camper. That's cute. The, the cutouts of the windows, don't usually see that. Postcard, airmail. I'm thinking there's an O somewhere. Did I miss it? Adventure. Discover. I'm not sure about this G. Let's see. Oh, awesome. And that's what's wonderful about these. Go with the little earth. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a iris case, four by six iris case to put this ephemera in rather than put it all back into the little pack. So what I like to do with my ephemera is to cut, I cut off the top piece, see, of the flap. I, I don't like to have things in the packaging when I'm ready to create. What I do do is I stick the little backing that shows the uh, thumbnail size of all the ephemera in a pack. I like to stick it to the case lid with these mini glue dots. I'll usually, uh, if I have multiple, multiple of one line, say for instance, like I do, like I do here, uh, this is also simple stories, this is all older stuff, and I had put multiples into one, and you can see they're all stuck on there and there's one on the bottom. And I want part of my organization to come is sort of separating these back out to have less collections together and just have them in the smaller containers if possible. That way I can just, I'm, I'm refining the ephemera storage. But since I'm gonna keep the Simple Stories collections that are, uh, I'll be scrapping with for the quarter one, you know, for the design team, the design team uh, requirements, I'm gonna go ahead and stick the 
these small ones in here as well. If they fit in. So I should be able to fit in here this pack here. And these four by six stickers. So I will keep the packaging. I don't throw away the packaging, uh, at least not right away. But when I'm creating, I just I don't want to have all the packaging. So what I'm going to do is just keep it all in here and stick the packaging. Oh, well, you know, put it away for now until I am done creating with these collections, and I can go ahead and maybe repackage some of it. So all of these will go in here, and it shouldn't be hard for me to rifle through all that. So that'll be, um, I might label it, I'm not sure, let's see, ah, this is perfect. What I'll do is I will cut some of these little icons and just stick them right on. Just a quick temporary thing here, but I do like to label my cases. Usually I, I have a little label maker, so I'll just do this right now. And that's it. Here we are, Crafty Girl. Let's start with the papers this time. Or the cardstock stickers. Now this is just absolutely gorgeous. Just look at those pretty colors. Oh my God, look at the washi. I love it. Glue stick, the paints, the planners. It's just so adorable. I'm so looking forward to using this line. The papers, I did get uh, two that were the same. So when I come across them, we'll just flip right through them. This one's called Live, Love, Create. One other thing I love about Simple Stories is they often include a wood grain background. Or maybe every time they include wood grain background. It's one of the Simple Stories signatures, isn't it? And then this one's called Craft Night. Look at the cute little girls. I will say that I have a hard time with these icons that have become popular with the top, the girl with the top knot, because I have short hair. I don't put my hair up in a pop top knot. So I am glad there's one that has her hair down. And I do use little, little things in my hair like that. Handmade with words. And, ooh, rainbow, nice. The four by six elements. Look at the little planner, it's so cute. Oh, this is awesome. That's the one I'm attracted to the most there. And buttons. This is three by four elements, smaller version. Cute sewing machine, pencils, everything. The washi, yes, the washi. If you've seen one of the videos that I did put out already, wood grain, for organizing, I have an organizing playlist that I started with a few videos in there already, and I did my washi. I might have to like scrap that. <laughs> this is cute. These are the four by six, and they come in both, both directions. Those are cute, and these are neat by six elements. This one is handmade again. So we saw that one, craft night and three by four elements. I just wanted to make sure I had both sides. Now the cardstock, the chipboard stickers, and I didn't open the one for travel notes, but this one I will open because I want to look at the finish. So Simple Stories does have a slightly satin finish on theirs, but look how cute the little watercolor pen, the watercolor tin is, the pencils, I love it, it's all cute. Now, yeah, see, they're gonna come off, aren't they? I will just go ahead and put it back in. When I create, what I do is I cut the top of the plastic out, and that way I can slide it in and out, rather than have to deal with this bottom. 
And I might do what I learned from Mercy Tiara in that she puts washi on the back to keep these from popping off. So I might do that. The 6x4 pad has, let's see. I'm terrible about opening these up with whatever I've got. Scissors will do. All right, so um, it's become very popular just to use the six by eight format to do, you know, scrap about yourself. So this is great for that. Creativity, creative, being creative isn't a hobby, it's a way of life. It certainly feels like that for me. That's cool, the big letters. Oh, look how cute those are. So see, none of that, none of this is in the papers. Uh, this is here. I'm gonna have to do it this way. It's like pattern, old-fashioned patterns. Make pretty things. Make is gonna make more of these little. Not that was just in the four by six elements. It's cute. A smaller version of the rainbow paper. Yeah, these are all slightly smaller. I'm a crafty girl. Eat, sleep, craft, repeat. Yes. You can see, actually, this one's actually a bigger version of this, the 12 by 12 paper. This is definitely smaller. And then it has the back side that is smaller. So interesting, you get this size and that size and this size. There's three different sizes of that. I love that variety. And it repeats, so you get two of each of those. The stickers. So these are not clear. Let's take a look at these. Oh, I love these already. Look at the cute little paper clip and the measuring tape. I'm a quilter as well, so I could, you, this line is gonna be so versatile for me. And then of course, everyone needs a little sweet beverage, right? I am so crafty that I sweat glitter. <laughs> Crafting every day keeps the crazy away. Yep. <laughs> Some more icons and words. I like these little arrows too, and the little hearts, both filled in and just outlined. Oh, and then we got some of those. These are um, maybe one and a half inch square stickers. Good, not a top knot on that one. And then my favorite. Oh, these little lit words, they even have more hearts. It's great. And little words this way too. I think that is the most, uh, when I create with simple stories, I'm, I always like to just pile on a lot of these little sentiments, word strips. And then the last, but certainly not least for the Crafty Girl line, I got the bits and pieces and I will lay these all out so you can see them because that is the point of this video. So I'm going to take this out of the way. Crafting is always a good idea. Make life pretty. I have too much washi, said no one ever. <laughs> Eat, sleep, craft, repeat. Pencil and pen, the washi. So what? I like that. Even a glue gun, oh my God, a glue gun. Spool, thread, planner, sewing machine, the ever classic tomato pin cushion, although it isn't pink, of crafts. And you know, I am not huge on pink, but I think just the colors work so well together. It's not, and it's is a bright pink. So I probably not, wouldn't like use a lot of the pink stuff, but a little bit is okay. Look, safety pin open, 
and I thought there was a closed one, but it's a, it's a, it's a, not a safety pin. Maker's gonna make. Planning is not a hobby, it's a way of life for the planner girls and boys. Let's make art, yes. There's a few little flowers in this line, but mostly it is crafting paraphernalia. Here's another paper clip and another safety pin. Keep calm and make pretty things. Oh, that's cute, a little clipboard made with love. These are nice little journaling spots. They have that pin through them. Handmade, made with heart. I made that, another pen, I'm gonna put it together. And a thimble, cute. Buttons, happy crafting. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out, I'm gonna put these away in a four by six and I'll just cut that up. All right, let's do bliss next. Let's start with the papers again. I think it's easier to start with paper because if you have something smaller that repeats the pattern, you can compare it. All right, so this is such a pretty line. Look at these. I love the addition of purple. Uh, one of my daughter's favorite colors is purple and the other is aqua. So this is gonna go a long way for me. And I love these little tabs. In fact, I did not get a double pack of this because I didn't want all the papers, but I might uh, order for myself, just not given, but actually order and pay for uh, one of the cardstock sticker sheets again, because I just, I love all this. Uh, newsprint and grid type on the background. It's just so lovely, paired up with the colors. Now, and then the purple and the aqua and the pink are very soft, a little bit of yellow, and then there's that addition of black and white. That's so awesome, especially polka dots. So this is beautiful, just beautiful. And I'm not a girly girl, fancy, flowery person, but you give me an umbrella and I'm all over that. Let's look at the papers, so. They are not, see they're just not all, okay, the pack goes this way. So there's are doubles, so let's just look at the main pack. There's the, some wood grain, whitewashed, very beautiful. This one is called Be the Good. Flowers. Butterflies, called Enjoy the Ride. and flowers on black. I like that. This one's Remember to Shine and a nice stripe. Live in the Moment. A nice watercolor effect on wood grain. Three by four elements. Some of these are photorealistic. That's cute. Oh, I love that. Be the good. This is cute. And wow, a neat black on cream print. Three by four elements. The four by six elements of the Bliss collection. That's cute. That's really cute. Choose joy. The one flower I do like is, is like really pale roses. Be the reason someone smiles today. So sweet. And in the background, uh, the B side, some text print and some lines and some grids um, in the little circles. I love that. I think I would have loved it better if it was this color though. <laughs> okay, and those are doubles. Because aqua trumps pink in my world. And then Cardstock stickers, I'm not gonna take them out, but you can see those. Actually, I wish I could tell if there was a glare. <sighs> Polka dot hearts, so cute. Look at the little banner. And it has some photorealistic ones too. You know what, I'm gonna take them out because it's bugging me that it might be glaring. And I hope I'm doing a good job of this. I, I hope you can see the product well. That was my goal. 
And it's so neat because these are all the, uh, I think this is not all the releases that Simple Stories had for uh, CHA, but it's five of them. So you get to see them somewhat better than just looking on the screen uh, when you're trying to order. Smile often, think positively, give thanks, live loudly, love others, dream big. So cute. So yeah, look at this. This is, it's a photorealistic of a flower behind that. That's really neat. I really like that. All right. And then I did get the stickers and clear stickers for this one. I didn't just grab everything possible from each collection. Only the things that I thought I could use in my scrapping. Uh, never met a cloud I didn't like, but look, this is the same as the chipboard. It's a little banner, but a smaller version. Now this is cool. The words have some of the watercolor on them and more hearts. Cute. Lots of cute words, patterns, even some just flat patterns like polka dots. The little tiny square stickers. And uh, more icons. So it comes with a lot. These packs come with so many stickers. Look. A happy heart. Oh my god, that is so adorable. Love it. Oh my god, look at these cute little banner cut ones. And the circles. So I'm going to have to come up with designs that I can use tons of these on. Seriously. Although you can use these on planners too. These are nice. Then bigger words and more square stickers. These are so pretty. This bliss line is just so blissful. I believe. So the nice clear stickers with colors. And uh, then we have some black and white sentiments. And look at this. Happy looks amazing on you. I love that. Oh, hello. There's so many cute sentiments on this and hearts. And then this one also in black and white. And I love how teeny tiny some of these are too. They add just, it's almost like you're adding a little stamp because they're clear and you can just stick them somewhere. It's really cute. And now on to the bits and pieces. Yay! So I know this is a really long video, but I wanted to show you guys everything. Here we go. Flowers and umbrellas. I like rain, I like umbrellas, I like clouds. Those are like my favorite icons. That's cute, enjoy the ride. Bird, here's the clouds. Hearts, yes. More of that watercolorness everywhere. Cute little bag of flowers. Let's put these in sort of together in little batches here. Little tiny flowers. Here's some little little critters. Flowers. Oh, even banner shaped. And these are great. Little, lab not labels, but look, maybe journaling spots is what these are called. Rain boots. There's quite a bit of those little flowers and clusters. Now those are cute to add a little, just a little touch of flowers here and there. Be the joy. That's cute. Oh, and a wreath of flowers. I'm trying to make sure that everything's still within frame. I had to move the move my phone over a little bit as I reset it because when I got the call, it was vibrating and it moved. <laughs> Hashtag filming problems. Okay, so we've got some cute little words on watercolor and cute cutout words. And even a whole, alpha, a whole word here with this photorealistic flower background. That's cute, happy. And happy little moments. 
Oh, happy day and another tag. Hopefully I'm not getting anything off screen. I, I do have things marked out with washi, but when I had to move it, you know, I, I can never tell for sure. All right, so I'm gonna put these away and come with the next collection. So here is the I Am collection. And I know Simple Stories had another I Am collection a while back, and this one is just as lovely. I did forget uh, to mention this washi. So I am not sure if this washi went with Bliss, which I think it does, or if it went with the I Am collection. But honestly, because both have black, it can go with either. So I just want to show you the washi with the dots, and they are like a random dot. It's really cool. And then the I Am collection, for sure this is from the I Am collection, the roller stamp, I Am. And these are the sentiments that are on that. So cute. I, I'm a sucker for these. I have tons of them. I just recently organized them and I do have to release that video. Um, I just love it when they, they're not just a typed, they're all different fonts. It's so cool. So there's a the roller stamp. Let's go with the papers. So I mentioned before with this one because I wanted a bunch of the b-sides so the collection pack has this one has 12 sheets and uh, because I wanted to make sure I had the b-sides to use I uh, asked for extra paper and I guess I asked I like this collection so much that um, it warranted just a second pack a uh, kit collection pack the cardstock stickers and this buffalo plaid oh my god it's so great so another great collection with the addition of black in it and this one does seem to have both like card cream based items although they do have some white so and I, I love mixing that up I don't have any problems with that so cool typewriters but bicycles all the goodies. These hearts are really neat. And it has a few little, cre like I showed you the crafty girl, but this one actually does have some things that are kind of crafty as well. The planner and all that. Okay, so I gotta keep moving, don't I? <laughs> I just wanna look at it. Here are the papers, let's see. I think this is the co collection pack that has the most papers out of the five collections that I'm showing you here today. So we got Loving Life. This has rose gold on it. Some people, lots of people love that. I'm actually like, mm, meh. Um, in some cases I like it, in some cases I don't. So we'll see. Some flowers. I do actually, uh, I, I'm a, I, I prefer silver than gold. Uh, I don't use metallics much at all, but I, I like a little bit here and there. So I actually kind of appreciate it in this line. Uh, this one's called Bold and Beautiful. And that background, oh my gosh, that's so good. And a plain stripe, so you get one with and without the flowers. Living Vibrantly. More watercolor, a lot of watercolor in the lines this year. And ooh, another ledger, nice. So here's one that has a lot of the rose gold in these butterflies, not all of the butterflies. This one's I, um, Choosing Happiness. And then the background is a striped pink. Now this one, I am salivating over this does have rose gold in some of the words. Oh my God, can you see that? It is so beautiful. I hope so. It's so hard to tell what the camera is capturing. This is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This one's called Focusing on the Good and I might have to just buy myself tons of this one. Sometimes I do that. If I like a paper a lot, I'll buy several pieces of it. And cameras. This one's called Simply Me. Some flowers and some writing. Staying positive. 
flowers and a kind of like a hmm, what is this called? I'm not sure what this geometric print is called. Oh, and the buffalo plaid, so pretty, making it happen. And I know they're coming out with a traveler's notebook or planner cover with this pattern, and I really want to get that. And I know it's coming out, I think, in June, July-ish. There's some flowers, and then we have some, what was this called? Did I say it? Making it happen, I did say it. Three by four elements, and this has rose gold, and I really am loving it in the words, for sure. And the little typewriter keys. Oh my God, that is cute. Flowers on black. I really found of flowers on black. Four by four elements. Look at the globe. Oh, this is really nice. I like that, that shade of yellow. And four by six elements. More rose gold on this one. Sure, you can see all that. And a little speckled in the back. Four by six vertical elements. And, ooh, this is nice. I'm, I like this dot on this uh, mint. Mint aqua. Okay, so that's, that's the double. And then we have save that for last. The paper pad, I will try to go through this pretty quick. I am. Speckles, so some of this is a bigger version of these, somewhat, and some are smaller versions of the big paper. Stripe, this aqua dot, this is different, it's got a camera on it, some ledger, flowers and flowers and cameras and writing and I'm surrounded by love goodness and beautiful things I love that and flowers and butterflies share your beauty with the world buffalo plaid little typewriter I need to pull out my little typewriter my little typewriter is actually blue <laughs> but I have to fix the the um the ribbon on it some flowers I'm Butterflies, flowers, flowers with the writing in the background. This is cute. I love this color, yellow. Flowers, flowers in a jar, uh, geometric print, and then we repeat. Stickers. This is the regular stickers, four by six sheets. There's eight sheets in these packs. They're a great deal. So you've got some cute little things here. I love that globe. Typewriters in a different color here. I love those little watercolor sentiments. And this one also has watercolor on the little tiny word strips. Adorable. And then bigger sentiments. Square stickers. The little icons. These tiny, tiny little banners and tiny labels and those little circles are so cute. And more sentiments and more square stickers. I am enough. Simply amazing. I am going places. This is a very sweet line. Very empowering. And then we have the clear sticker sheets. There's three of these, and one of these is rose gold. So this is way too much rose gold for me, but of course, if you want to just add one or two of these on a layout, that it's really nice. Hopefully you can see them. I am on a journey, creative, talented, inspiring, focus on yourself, staying positive, bold and beautiful. I am choosing happiness this yeah lots of cute things here and then we have these are really cute in the clear little feather the bird more feathers 
those sentiments. Simply me. This is really cute. And then in black and white, or black on clear, uh, more sentiments. You can always use more of those. That's what those look like. And then, what am I up to? I am up to the bits and pieces. Stepping on stick on plastic there. Let's look at all the bits and pieces in this collection. So we've got a bicycle. Now these flowers are a little, I don't know, more rusticy looking. And look, we've got the letters. I believe it's I am cut out of paper, uh, like a paper background pattern. I've seen the possibilities. Oh my God! Look at the little. Little glasses. I don't wear glasses, but I wear contacts. So sometimes I think, should I scrap, put the glasses on a layout about myself or something like that? Cause it just doesn't feel authentic, but you know, technically I wear glasses. It's just in contact form, right? This little sentiments. I can see rose gold and some of these the feathers have rose gold. Oh, that's cute. The little paintbrush has rose gold. There's an eye in rose gold, so it should be an M somewhere, I think. Yes, in cursive too. This is this these are really cool with the rose gold on the journey. Just the right amount on these. Oh, the tags too. That tag, the little Reinforcer is rose gold, and then the little camera circle there on the lens. So we got butterflies and hearts and flowers. Lots of flowers in this line. And I love the little itty bitty ones. I'm right here where I need to be. Oh, little house has rose gold accents too. I am not perfect, but I am the perfect me. Oh, that's sweet. I am doing what others say I cannot. I, I feel like I really can relate to this line because of recent events in my life. I, I feel like I'm, I'm living the dream, really. Now I am on my third design team. I'm still in shock and like, I'm not worthy, but it's very, it's very empowering and uh, boosting my confidence just having the the opportunities and and the recognition. So I'm pretty sure I'll be using this to scrap about myself, <laughs> which I actually don't do very often. I am truly and deeply happy. Hearts. I am dreaming big. I feel like I, uh, yeah, like I was, it was a goal of mine to be able to contribute to the scrapbooking industry in some way, and I'm making it happen. <laughs> so that, that's the bits and pieces for the I am. Now let me sweep this away, and I will show you the last collection that I got in my box. Last but certainly not least is the Welcome Spring. It is a mini kit. It is it is so cute. I these colors really speak to me. And when I first saw the CHA or Creativations, sorry, they changed the name, Creativations releases, this is the one I was attracted to the most. I'm almost sad that it's a very small collection. So we've got Hello Sunshine. I just, I love these colors. I love the navy. The wood grain is a medium toned wood grain and really cute. It's very homespun looking. Look at this little wreath and the hearts. So th this is really, really adorable. See, so look at the, the little bird has the, their, their wings and their tails. Really cute. And I can see some distressing on this one which we haven't seen in many of the lines recently. I remember kind of old school simple stories had quite a bit of distressing. This one, the paper, 
this pack comes with two sheets of three double-sided designer cardstock papers, including three by fours and four by six, and then one sheet of six by 12 cardstock. So this is really a mini kit. So we've got this distressed, oh, that's really neat. Distressed um, diagonal black and white stripe, and it is a white base. And then there's two of that. So when you get this mini kit, you don't have to worry about not being able to use both sides because they get two of each. This is beautiful. These um, yellow flowers. This one's called Shine Bright. I did say the name of this one, right? Hello Spring is this one. This one is Shine Bright and it has a cute gingham on the back, which has letters on it. I don't know if you can see. Is it capturing that? We've got a really faint text print in this. So it's not just your your average gingham there. So there's two of that. And then uh, a sheet that has both three by fours and four by sixes. And this is cute. So I love the, the medium tone of the wood grain. And uh, that black and white with the distressing is really neat. I haven't seen anything like that one before grids and the back is a flower print of all the colors in the line and that is the mini collection called welcome spring and i think this is a tracy reed design my girl tracy and that makes me happy i want to i want to use all her collections Okay, so that concludes my tour of everything that I got to work with for Simple Stories Creative Team for the next few months. 